Now let us discuss about angles, their formation, types, etc. Two rays having a common end point form an angle. In the figure here, ray OP and ray OQ have the common end point O. So these rays form an angle. The common end point is called the vertex of the angle and the two rays are called the arms or sides of the angle. We denote angle by the sign. Here the angle formed by the rays is POQ or QOP. We write it as angle POQ or angle QOP. Note that while denoting an angle, we always write the vertex letter in the middle. The opening between the two rays forming the angle gives the measure of the angle. Greater is the opening, greater is the measure of the angle and vice versa. Here the opening between the rays MN and ML forming angle LMN is less than that of between the rays EF and ED forming angle DEF. So we say that the measure of angle LMN is less than that of angle DEF. We measure angles on degrees denoted as degrees. So an angle of 10 degrees is denoted as 10 degrees. 65 degrees is denoted as 65 degrees etc. We measure angles by an instrument called protractor. It is in the shape of a semicircle. The semicircle is divided into 180 equal parts. Each part denotes 1 degree. The markings on the protractor are done in both the directions to measure the angles in either direction. The midpoint of the baseline of the protractor is called its center. Let us measure the given angle PQR with the help of a protractor. Place the protractor over the angle such that its vertex Q coincides with the center of the protractor and ray QR is aligned along its baseline. We see that the ray QP falls along 50 degrees mark. So angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. In a similar process, we can draw an angle of given measure with the help of a protractor. So let us now draw angle ABC is equal to 65 degrees. Draw a ray BC. Place the protractor over BC such that its center falls over B and its baseline gets aligned along BC. Start from 0 and read along the inner scale till we reach at the mark 65 degrees. Mark a point A against this point. Now lift the protractor and join AB. The angle thus formed is the required angle. That is, angle ABC is equal to 65 degrees.